So, Corey, can you tell us a little bit about the difference between investing time and spending time? Sure. The, the spending time is pretty obvious and something that we that we all do because we all get busy. And, and the, the more uh, driven a person that you are, the busier that, that your day is going to be. But, but I draw the distinction in investing time and the way you can tell the difference. Investing time is when you're doing some activity or involving yourself in something that is growing yourself personally, making you a better person than, than you were. And that includes things like reading and studying and health and fitness and all those. Or that you're investing in the lives of another human being that's going to add value to their life in a positive way. Uh, contributing. I, I love community service. Community Community service is a great way uh, to, to, you know, grow yourself through, through connection. I, I, I tell young people all the time, uh, if you want to grow your resume, then involve yourself in community service. And you'll be amazed that you'll show up at a Habitat for Humanity or Boys and Girls Club event and find yourself around the CEO of some large corporation because he recognizes that he has a societal responsibility and, and suddenly you got a, you've got a person you can put down as a as a reference on a resume uh, or ask for a recommendation. Yeah, I love that. that. That's so true. I know that you do a lot of serving outside of what you're doing for a career, and you've mentioned that you work with youth. Can you talk to us a little bit more about what you're doing exactly? Yeah, part part of what you know, I, I'm a big fan of community service in general, but I think you got to find what your passion is. And and my experience with the prison system, and watching the lives of of you know people uh, just derail. And you know, one story is as a prison inspector. I mean, I, I've literally witnessed three executions from within inside the chamber. One by electric chair and two by lethal injections as part of my responsibility as as a prison inspector yeah. to make sure they follow the protocols and 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 then the work that I did with gangs so my passion centered around I, I, you only got so much energy and where your focus goes your energy flows so I can't be all things over so I've locked in on how can I help young people so I do that through the Kiwanis Club our local Kiwanis Club which is you know an international uh, organization that has always been focused on children and the needs mm -hmm. of children and i'm a big fan of the boys and girls club I, I love the fact that they fill that gap uh after school uh and 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 not only is it a recreational place but it's a place where they're going to get homework tutor tutoring uh there's a wonderful program in there called passport to manhood uh which is really designed for you know young young men who who, who don't have a a, a true father figure in their life, but yet we bring in members of the community uh, that are that are you know successful men to sit down and spend time and, and begin to mentor, mentor these young people. So yeah. that that's been my focus, and uh, it's probably the most selfish thing you can do because <laughs> it's very gratifying. You leave there knowing that you've made a difference, and yeah. uh, and and you know I certainly they get something out of my involvement, but I. I I don't think I, I could ever uh, balance the scales on what I get out of it. Yeah. 